having uh, defined this basic set of parts that my microwave is going to be built out of, uh, I now want to define its internal structure. Um, and to do that, I'm going to use a different diagram called an uh, internal block diagram. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is actually add that as a diagram below this microwave oven block. So I've clicked on um, the microwave oven block and I'm going to right click and add another diagram. So now I've, uh, I've got myself a, another diagram, which is the internal block diagram for the microwave, and this will uh, allow me to uh, define the internal structure. Um, it shows uh, the container here, which is the microwave oven itself. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is make that a little larger. Now we can start adding um, parts to our microwave oven. This is defining the internal structure. And the way we're going to do that is to reuse those blocks which we just defined. So, so previously we were describing um, generic types of components, that is blocks, and this is where we actually instantiate them. This is where we actually produce um, specific um, parts. So, for example, I'm going to come over here to the, uh, the model and pick a block and drag and drop it. Drop it. Notice that I'm not using the palette, that would be um, about creating um, completely new items, but what, I'm at, what I actually want to do is just instantiate, so I'm going to drag and drop from the Model Explorer. Uh, let's do that, let's drag, drag and drop in a lamp, and I'm going to create a new part. So that's created an instance of type lamp, and I'm going to do the same with the timer. Now you'll notice that the ports which we previously identified, the flow ports, that is the interfaces on there, are not showing. Uh, what you should be able to do at this point is right click and uh, just display those, right, those ports. Um, however, on this version of uh, Papyrus there is actually a defect, there's a bug and that isn't working. That's annoying, it was working in a previous version, no doubt they'll fix it again, but on this specific, specific version it's not working. Let me show you how you sh that should be possible to do that, uh, you right click and it's just a menu option. So it's uh, it, it should be under format, sorry filter, and show hide contents, or you type F4. And what should happen at that point is it should reveal um, any internal contents on that, um, that particular part um, and its ports. Unfortunately that's not working. So in order to um, wire this uh, block up and show the connectivity in the internal structure, we're going to have to actually draw those um, ports, those flow ports, back onto this diagram. Um, again, that is just a, ma a simple matter of drag and drop. So I'm going to expand the, uh, the lamp block over in the Model Explorer. I'm going to take its flow port and I'm going to drag and drop it onto the uh, top part of the lamp block. There we go, the uh, flow port appears. I'm just going to move it around. Just going to just neaten this up slightly. Um, I'm going to do the same with the timer. I'm going, to, I'm going to use the connector, which is the lamp output from the timer. So I've dragged and dropped that onto the diagram, and um, you can move these labels around a little bit to neaten it up. You can experiment on your diagram as to what the, the best layout is. 
Um, I, I suppose the good part of this is that you can't get it wrong because at least the model does maintain consistency. So if I took that lamp flow port and tried to drag it onto the timer, you, you, you can experiment with this, but you'll find that doesn't work.